AutoShop 101 Engine Class. Welcome to AutoShop 101, hosted by Two Car Pros. This free online series of YouTube videos is designed to get anyone familiar with a modern automobile's parts. It may look intimidating at first, but over the next class worth of videos, I'll show you it's just nuts and bolts. Let's jump right in. At the heart of every internal combustion vehicle, there is an engine. Let's break down exactly what an engine is, by defining it. An engine is a machine designed to convert energy into useful mechanical motion. The type we're interested in is internal combustion, which simply means the engine uses a process of combustion by burning fossil fuels inside a combustion chamber. Within the combustion cycle, there are four stages or strokes. This is why engines are sometimes referred to as four strokes. These four strokes are intake, compression, ignition, ignition. Intake. This stroke begins at the top dead center of the piston, increasing the volume of the cylinder as the piston descends from the top of the cylinder to the bottom. A mixture of fuel and air is forced by atmospheric pressure into the cylinder through the intake port. The second stroke in the cycle is known as compression. With the intake and exhaust valves closed, the piston returns to the top of the cylinder, compressing the air-fuel mixture into the cylinder head. The third stroke in the cycle is known as power. This is the start of the second revolution of the cycles. While the piston is close to the top dead center, the compressed air-fuel mixture is ignited by a spark plug. The resulting pressure from the combustion of the compressed air-fuel mixture forces the piston down toward the bottom dead center. The fourth and final stroke is known as exhaust. During the exhaust stroke, the piston returns to the top dead center while the exhaust valve is open. This action expels the spent air-fuel mixture through the exhaust valve or valves depending on engine configuration. The next thing we need to talk about is compression ratio. The compression ratio of an internal combustion engine is the value that represents the ratio of volume of its combustion chamber from its largest capacity to its smallest capacity. This is a fundamental specification for any common combustion engine. A high compression ratio is desirable because it allows an engine to extract more mechanical energy from a given mass of air-fuel mixture due to its higher thermal efficiency. So basically, Higher compression ratio equals more power. For example, a cylinder and its combustion chamber with the piston at the bottom of its stroke may contain 1000 cc of air, 900 in the cylinder and 100 in the combustion chamber. When the piston has moved up to the top of its stroke inside the cylinder and the remaining volume inside the head or combustion chamber has been reduced to 100 cc, then the compression ratio would be described as 1000 to 100 or reduced down to 10 to 1. And that concludes our first class in this series. Please subscribe and stay tuned for more upcoming videos. Thank you for watching.